just decided to host some impromptu readings. Prince, this afternoon we're kicking off at 12 because I want to get a good chunk of the family upstairs read this afternoon. So hopefully I'll see you in the comments. If not, I'm here all day. friends how's it going so it's a wee bit later on and um, i've just set up a, another 45 minute sprint there and i've just come in to make myself a bite date because i'm getting quite hungry didn't have any lunch but i just wanted to update you guys i'm actually on chapter 11 um of the family upstairs and i just want to take a second to say well to ask a question really do you ever read a book that you have rated five stars like so many years ago and on upon a reread of said five star book you do not remember pretty much anything of the plot or the story because i literally went and got my notebook and i have been jotting down some notes as to who all of the characters are and i do not recall <laughs> pretty much 99 percent of this of what I've read I do not recall and I don't know how that's possible because I gave this five five stars this book and I literally recommend it to anybody I talk about it all the time and I just yeah I just don't remember a lot of what I'm reading so and on a positive note though it's like reading the book for the, for the very first time again so I am really really enjoying it that way but yeah it's it's we're getting to know the main character um, who has basically inherited the um, house that her parents owned and um, that she actually lived in and was found in, in the cot as a baby when her mum and dad were found dead um, with, with, as a suspected suicide. So we are just sort of, um, we're, we're going through multiple POVs. So each chapter is a different person and each chapter is going back in time and staying in present time and different things like that. So I really, really love thriller, thrillers that have um, multiple POVs and multiple timelines. So I'm really, really enjoying it for that aspect. And I'm enjoying getting to know sort of the main character who was the baby at that time way back. And, you know, it's it's shaping up to be one of those where, um, you know, we're going to find out what happened as the story progresses. And then the end's just going to be the twist of the century, probably. But it's just amazing amazing hi i do not remember any of this i cannot get over it but yes i'm going to continue reading on in this sprint i've just set up a 45 minute sprint i have a bit of laundry to sort out i want to make some lunch i've made myself a cup of tea and i'm going to just use this sprint for productivity and getting things done around the house and um, there's a bit of cleaning in the kitchen and stuff needs done so i might actually listen to the audiobook while i'm doing everything here um i'm not sure though because it's quite a tricky um, sort of book to follow along with because there's so many characters and sometimes when I'm listening to that on audiobook I get mixed up and I don't understand and I don't want to miss anything because obviously I'm vlogging it for you guys and I want to be able to talk to you when I'm doing updates and the clips and things. So I might just take this 45 minutes as a productivity sprint and then go back and read again in the next sprint but we'll see what happens anyway. So yeah I have rambled on for long enough for three minutes actually. I will chat to you when I have another update and and let you know how I'm getting on. Okay friends, so I just got to 50% halfway through the family upstairs. I've just finished my sprints and I hit 50%. I am so happy. So yes, I am just having a quick cup of tea now and catching up with one of Jacqueline's early access vlogs on her Patreon. So I absolutely love being in her Patreon. I don't even think I've been in it for a week and it's just the perks and benefits are amazing. It's just a really good community and the early access to her vlogs this month are just absolutely fantastic. So I'll link her channel down below. Jacqueline's one of the very best. So yeah, I really, really like her channel. But yes, um, I digress slightly. I am halfway through the family upstairs. I really do think that I'm going to be able to finish this today um, before Aaron even comes home from work or home from work from Dennis. I am flying through it, absolutely flying through it. It's Lisa Jewell's writing style is so quick paced and so 
snappy and so quick and so gripping and you literally just want to keep reading every chapter i mean it's just uh it's just absolutely i'm having an absolutely brilliant time today cannot believe i've been in the worst slump of the year so far until today when i picked this reread back up and i'm absolutely loving it still cannot remember for the life of me anything that's going on from the last time I read it but I'm absolutely loving it so we're deep deep into the story now we are literally seeing three or four points of view on each chapter and we are starting to get the information that we need to put two and two together and make four instead of six so definitely we are getting a lot of twists we're getting a lot of um whoa moments and a lot of oh my goodness did that just happen and yeah i'm just totally here for it i have the best time so the rest of today um it's currently five to three in the afternoon i was sprinting for almost three hours there really really enjoyed it thanks for everybody if you're watching if you came over thank you so much but i am going to finish jacqueline's vlog it's just over 20 minutes so I'm going to do that I'm then going to do a quick speed clean for half an hour 45 minutes around the house I'm going to do a bit of filming for an hour and then I'm going to take Novak out for his evening walk a long walk and um, before Aaron gets back but the good thing is while I'm cleaning and while I'm walking Novak I'm able to listen to the audiobook for the family upstairs so I do feel as if I am at a point where I can listen to the audiobook and not sort of worry about missing things and not understanding what's happening um i do find at the start of thrillers and at the start of books sometimes if there's a lot of characters or povs or timelines i do get a bit mixed up because maybe i'm not concentrating enough but i'm halfway through the book now i know i know what's going on i know obviously i don't know what's going to happen because i just bloody can't remember but i do know what's going on i know a lot about the characters and i do feel as if i can listen to it on audiobook so that's what i'm going to be doing the rest of the day before aaron comes home from tennis um, it'll probably be take out in a movie this evening so there won't be much reading done but I am, I am, I am going to aim for finishing the family upstairs by the time he comes home at six o'clock. So fingers crossed for me, it's going really well so far and I will check in with you when I finish the family upstairs. Hello, okay, so it's Sunday morning now and I had a lovely evening last night with Aaron. We have take out and we watched The Batman and it was absolutely amazing. But I'm coming in now to let you know that I did finish The Family Upstairs. It was inevitable. I literally sped through it all day yesterday. I am so, I have not finished a book in one day in such a long time. I can't even tell you when the last time was, but I'm really, really pleased. So basically it's still a five star it's still one of the best 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 books i've read thrillers in a long time and it was just amazing i worked out a few of the plot twists before they happened um, and i'm not sure if that's because i had already read it and maybe subconsciously things you know i started to remember things but the amount of twists and turns and people who were not the people that you thought they were happening was just amazing and the way in which this book is written is just it's just ridiculous it is literally i don't know if lisa jewel will write as good a book again i honestly don't know but obviously i still have the next in that what, what would we call it would we really call it a sequel i don't know but as we know it is it's set 30 years after what happened in the family upstairs which is why obviously i wanted to take the opportunity to read the family upstairs first for this vlog so i'll just read a bit of the synopsis out for you because i'm not really sure a lot about this one um and then i'm just really gonna get stuck into it when i come back from my parents house obviously it's father's day today it's sunday so i'm gonna go over and see my dad and my family and have a bite to eat with them for breakfast and give out some um lovely presents to my dad and just celebrate him being a father so basically this one thank you to um, the publisher for sending this to me especially um, Najma Finlay who so lovingly said in her email that it was no problem to send it I literally could not believe she said she had copies left and she would send one and it's uh, it's it's got blue sp sprayed edges guys I mean what I mean publishers do not send blue sprayed edges but I have one in my hands so London early morning June 2019 on the foreshore of the River Thames a bag of bones is discovered human bones DCI Samuel 
Daniel Awasi is called to the scene and quickly sends the bag for for forensic examination. The bones are those of a young woman killed by a blow to the head many years ago. Also inside the bag is a trail of clues, in particular the seeds of a rare tree which lead DCI Owasu back to a mansion in Chelsea where nearly 30 years previously three people lay dead in a kitchen and a baby waited upstairs for someone to pick her up. Obviously we know who the three people who died were and the baby because we learnt that in the family upstairs so that's exciting. Four deaths, an unsolved mystery, a family whose secrets can't stay buried forever. Sorry, the clues point forward to, to a brother, brother and sister in Chicago searching for the only person who can make sense of their past. Four deaths, an unsolved mystery, a family whose secrets can't stay buried forever. So, that's exciting. Oh my God. I have this in my hands, guys. I can't believe I have it. It is massive. It is a chunker, this boy. It is 431 pages. So, I am going to try and... I don't know at least get a couple of hundred pages into it today I don't think I can read a 430 odd book um, in one day although I have no plans today once I get back from my dad's so depending on how good it is we shall see and yeah prepare to be hooked the family remains coming June 2022 so yes family upstairs five stars family remains next on my list and I'm going to nip away now see my dad for a bit and then I will check in with you when I'm ready to read this one okay guys that's me just back from seeing my dad then it's a really nice uh, morning seeing the family and Lucy and stuff so I am going to basically read for the rest of the day oh my god I cannot believe I'm finally getting to read this one I'm so excited so excited Okay guys, just to start us off then, hopefully you can read that. It actually goes back over the families from the family upstairs. So you have the lambs obviously, um, Harry, Henry and Martina, Henry their son Lucy, their daughter and Libby, Lucy's daughter. And then you have David Thompson and Sally Thompson, Bertie's boyfriend Justin, oh my god too, this is amazing. friends okay so it's now a week later it's actually next saturday the saturday after the last clip you saw when i started to read the family remains life got in the way health got in the way everything just got in the way so i haven't been reading too much this week and i haven't got back to the family remains but it's now currently half 12 on saturday afternoon it's the 2nd of july so i wanted to kick back into the family remains but i did start it this morning uh, when i woke up so i wanted to update you on my thoughts so far currently on chapter 21 which is page 102 and really obviously it's going to be really hard in this vlog to talk about this sort of this second arc because if this is a non-spoiler vlog I couldn't talk about spoilers in the family upstairs if you're any type of bookworm or have been in the book community for a long time you probably will have already read the family upstairs but just in case you haven't I didn't want to give any spoilers away it's just not the thing that you do when you're you're sort of recording vlogs and filming vlogs for you guys but this just picks up basically on each of the characters that were in the family upstairs um those that were that that were alive at the end of the book anyway and it just sort of flip-flops over to present day which is like 25 30 years later and it just gives you a sense of where these people are in their lives what they're doing day to day where they live what they're 
working at, who they're with, what the relationships are. And um, the children have grown up as well. So we get to hear about the children's lives and all that good stuff. So that's basically what we're doing at the moment. We're flip flopping back and forward between all of the different characters from the family upstairs that were alive at the end of the family upstairs. So it's really, really good in that respect because you're revisiting sort of what happened Lisa Jill's very good at recapping and revisiting what happened in the family upstairs as well. So even if you do forget a few of the details and you're just not sure about what you're reading, you know, she does fill in those blanks for you really, really well. It's so fast paced. I flew through this this morning. I literally was only awake and got through those pages probably in about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, probably less than that, to be honest with you. And other than having to do a bit of cleaning, spend a bit of time with Arn and just get some lunch. I just wanted to get back to this uh, as soon as possible. So I've got myself a cup of tea, a bag of Crescent Bar chocolate. I'm gonna get into bed. I have literally the rest of the afternoon to do nothing but read. So I will keep you updated. Hopefully my aim is to finish this today. And if not by tomorrow, because this, I know this is gonna be, once I get into the deep of this story, I know I'm not gonna wanna put it down. So yes. I am going into page 103. I will check back in when I have some developments or something to talk to you about. And if not, I'll see you in about three hours. All right, friends, so it is currently half three now and I've just hit part three of this one you would have seen I'm on page 231 and things are still continuing at a, an epic rate it is I'm starting to get goosebumps there are lots of things happening uh, within a lot of storylines and with a lot of people and it's just the way Lisa R Jewell writes her novels is it's not like any other thriller author I know. She literally is right up there with one of the best thriller authors I've ever read from. The Night She Disappeared, Watching You, Invisible Girl, Family Upstairs, Family Remains. Um, you know, there's so many of them um, that are just, they're just amazing. And she continues to keep on building and getting better. And I'm literally halfway through this one and I have just texted Rebecca. She is going to start this this evening when she gets home. She's out for the afternoon with her family. And literally, I, I actually do think that this one's better than The Family Upstairs. I think this is a better story and a better, it's just a better all round written book. And... I think because we already have met the characters and we know enough about them that we can just go straight into this book and literally she just throws you into every twist and turn and roller co coaster moment that you can think of. And as I say, I've got goosebumps. I'm on part three. I literally am going to finish this before dinner time and I can't be any more happy about it. This has been the best book and the best time I've spent on a Saturday in a really long time. So that's my thoughts. Really, really enjoying this one gonna get back into bed now and hopefully finish it so I will chat to you in a little bit. So I managed to finish it. I finished it last night when I came back up to bed. I only had around about 111 pages left. I actually was on part three by the time I came back up. Um, I did a fair bit of reading yesterday and guys this if I could give this 100 stars I would give this 100 stars. I am going to tell you right now that this is better than the family upstairs this book is better and i think the reason it's better is because we already know the characters we already know their backstories we already know what happened back when in the family upstairs so from that respect we have already got an understanding of everything that's going on now obviously there's extra things thrown in here there's lots of plot, plot twists there's lots of red herrings as well things that I thought I had sort of worked out and was was way off the mark with them and for 427 pages this was a roller coaster it was a fun ride and I really really enjoyed it so wanted to come in and update the vlog here and finish the vlog because this is the author spotlight finished this is going to my sister-in-law Claire now she is literally going to be reading this probably next week at some stage she'll collect it from my mum's on Tuesday so I'm very excited to hear her thoughts on it as well it is and has been and will always probably be the most anticipated read I have for 2022 it did not disappoint Lisa Jewell does not disappoint 
any time any time I read a book of hers they've always been between four and five stars so Lisa Jewell I know you're not watching this video but Lisa Jewell is literally an autobi author for me one that I would highly recommend to any of you guys watching and please pick up any of her books Um, this one obviously uh, releases in July which is this month I I'm nearly sure it's the 18th of July don't quote me I'll pop it down below here Um, when I find the details on when it's actually I'll tell you now I've got my publisher note it publishes on the 21st of July so another couple of weeks yet but guys please pop this on pre-order please get this please actually read the family upstairs first because I feel as if that really gave me an advantage when it came to the family remains because even though I knew I loved that book I still had forgotten a lot of what was going on and everything as well so hopefully you've enjoyed this please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and um, hit the subscribe button down below for more author spotlights I have another one coming in July which is going to be for the loved and well-renowned author Jodie Pico and I'm very very excited to kick that one off in the next couple of weeks and hopefully bring it to the channel at the end of July. I have so much more planned and so much more fun planned over the summer so please stick around for more bookish content and I will see you in the very next video.